Hey guys, Dr. Prometheus here, back with some more Grand Tactician major update up to Unity. I think it's 2019 that you just did. So the game is looking fantastic. We got some UI scaling stuff in there. This is, uh, you guys will be seeing it in 1080p. However, it is in 4K for me, which is pretty nice. So we're going to do a campaign that we haven't done before, and that is a union side. I just want to test out how the supply system affects the union that uh, we've been playing the Confederates uh, for the past couple of patches at least. So in that, we want, we want to give... Uh, extra bonuses they did rework a couple things so give them uh this morale bonus let's do that let's actually pick our stuff let's take uh kansas and free state uh let's take uh Actually, let's take Indian Wars, maybe. So this is what we're going to take. We're just going to take Historic. It'll be fine. We are in the spring 1861. Will be a new camping from here. And sorry if you do hear the lawnmower outside. Looks like, sounds like they're doing some landscaping uh, at the baseball field behind me, so. A lot of rain up around Chicago recently. Crazy stuff. A lot of high winds too, so. Sounds like they're just mowing it just so they can get it in. Clean thunderstorms, essentially. We have our stuff here. America divided. President Buchanan unable to solve the crisis. We have some time here. I think we are going to go. Uh, we can't take the Militia Act 1 at the start. Um, we have to actually. We don't start with this anymore. So that's new. I think before, start with industry one. Let's actually grab uh, military one. Okay. Before it's something in the south. Our biggest thing will be holding the West. Jefferson Davis is inaugurated. Holding the West and St. Louis. Holding the line from Cairo to uh, through Hopkinsville, Bowling Green, and London here. Um, holding an army here to eventually get West Virginia and go through southern portion of Shenandoah Valley and then holding Confederate armies around Winchester and Harpers Ferry essentially ensuring that they don't uh, advance towards DC loyalties in Missouri torn successionist militiamen are mustered Missouri militia is formed Kentucky vows to remain neutral. No reason to get those additional policies. Texas joins the Confederacy. We just saw their blank. 
Davis calls for militia. Okay. Militia one act. Lincoln is inaugurated. Virginia's loyalty is questioned. I do want to go pretty fast getting towards the... Whole thing. Okay, the Confederate Army is established. We're building a foundry for the Confederacy down here. We're just nice folks. That's what we do. So the war didn't start until around April 12th or so, Fort Sumter. So we have some time. This will be done in 20 days. So towards the end of April, and then or towards the end of March, and then this one will be done probably the first time around April. And I think we're going to do industrialization from there. Not worried about the British coming down. I couldn't even get them to actually come in uh, to a war. I got the French to come in, but they uh, never moved off uh, Nuovo Laredo. Or they never moved off, moved off uh, Monterey, I think. One of these towns, they spawned. They never moved off of it. Okay, Stevens addresses the nation. North Carolina and Virginia have not seceded yet. Neither has Tennessee or Arkansas. King Cotton is selected by the Confederates. Okay, Lincoln calls the men to war. Okay, obviously the Missouri State Guard is not right there. That would be silly. Need to be able to get supplies. wherever they may be to the front effectively. I think we're mostly railroaded now. Nothing crazy. Yeah, I think I'll, we have all the railroads. All right, so we have the Army of Northeast, Northeastern Virginia under McDowell. The Department of Pennsylvania is under Patterson. The Department of Ohio under McClellan. Ohio. Department of the West under Harney. He's opposed by a decent amount. We'll have to get him some Fremont troops. At this point, we can also bring in other ones. Why is this small? Weird. 
So uh, that must be a bug where the filters don't don't change right, but everything else did. Make sure that's not a. Yeah. Uh... Hmm. That's weird. All right, whatever. Okay, Harney with Nathaniel Lyon. Department of Ohio, Department of Pennsylvania, and Army Northeastern Virginia. Um, I'm going to change this right now. Army of the Potomac. Just so it's not, so we don't get it confused with, uh, with anything. Let's grab a new army. Get it in. We can't do Tennessee. So let's constitute it in Illinois. Of course, this is going to be under the man, the myth, the legend, Grant. What? Oh. Well, it wasn't working. Wow. Illinois. Under Grant. Let's take that off. There we go. Um, let's get a couple here. They'll reinforce. Get some infantry volunteers. Philip St. George uh, Cook. A volunteer, there's John Abercrombie. Grab an Illinois cavalry unit under Delafield. Sounds fine to start with. Get a month light artillery under Thomas Williams. Works fine. We're going to stage him in Cairo itself. It's going to be Army. We have the Ohio. Who's the other one? Let's see. Who's the other one? Let's see. River. I think it was. It could be wrong. It could be right. Who knows? Okay, so let's look at us here. 122. 4,000. Monroe's getting hit with that. Bring in our large flotilla. Okay, there's that. Department of the West, we're going to start out with getting a couple of units in Harneys. Um, Wisconsin, get a couple of Wisconsin units. 
small ones, not Mansfield. That'd be silly. Stone. Get to Wisconsin. Lyle. And let's grab uh, Colorado. Elliot. Mexico. With Irving Gregg. They're going to be sitting tight anyway, so that's fine. 2230, Armour of the Potomac. Let's put Hooker in charge of this one. I'm not confident that Patterson can be a long term commander here. I'm also not confident that Hooker can do it, but let's put Hooker in charge of this artillery unit. Come in, get another artillery unit from DC. Army of the Potomac is running over the Daniel Tyler at Ambrose Burnside here. New York, a couple of Rhode Island. come in and this is going to be an artillery unit under we have a good artillery officer oh dear here's smith there's palmer is going to be under mcdowell itself Rhode Island, New York, New Jersey. There's New York. Connecticut, Ohio, Michigan. I will have McDowell's. Department of Ohio, Duval, Milroy, or McClellan. Actually, let's pull McClellan out of this. Put Don Carlos Buell in charge of that. I'm already going to switch this from Patterson. Colin's going to take command of this. I'm just going to take command of a division. Uh, do you have any main boys? Main. Who am I looking for? The tip of my tongue. Share it in. Mead. Uh, 
think he was a captain at this time. Uh... Chamberlain. There he is. I totally spaced out who, was, who I was going to go with. Main. Get a Vermont unit. We can't. Can we get Pennsylvania? Let's go to New York. New Jersey, New Hampshire. One of Missouri. Took a while for those boys to come up. Let's get a Maryland unit. Under Gorman. Patterson's got that. Fine. Cadwallader. Okay, there's that. Hooker's in charge of that. Under McClellan. That's how we'll kind of start it off. At this point. Department of Ohio is going to go down here. I'm going to hold the railroad junction at Bowling Green. I do want to get another one up in Pittsburgh, I think. Don Carlos Buell. Let's come out and get unit. Let's put it under wool. I'm going to reorganize this in a way that makes sense. James Shields is going to come out. Um, was there at least some good artillery officers at this point? Oh, yeah. So do it by experience. Here we go. Henry Halleck. Hmm. Heinzelman. Morris might be what I have to pull in. Pull in how? This is up here. Let's pick a couple. Let's go with Delaware. Jenison. Yeah, there's Department of Ohio. One to Grant. Get uh under Grant, let's go with Britain Den. Take Crittenden. Heinzelman. Okay, get a couple more Illinois boys. Get an Indiana unit. Let's grab Illinois game. Okay, but that'll end up being. About seven uh, thousand. Right here. 
Pull the commander. Out west, how old is Churchill? He's 77. We're not going to put Winfield Scott out there. Maybe put Fremont. Put Morgan. Elliot and Greg. Or William S. Harney, who is 60. So if we need to, we can replace him. Buell, McClellan, McDowell, Grant, Beth. Um, let's get one more force. We are the Union. It does make sense. Brace it in Pennsylvania. Let's put... Uh, who to put in command of this? Maybe Halleck? There's William Hayes. Put Meade in charge of this. And we'll put Halleck under him. Get a couple Pennsylvania units, Stockton, and it's going to be a small force. But uh, um, let's go with. McReynolds? James T. Morgan. Can I get another one from West Virginia? Can. Oops. And have you up from Vermont? Or Churchill? Churchill's like 70. Or Barnard. There we go. Okay. This is how we're going to start the war already. Is we need to upgrade that supply depot. They're getting supplies here. Gonna build that one. Army of Pennsylvania is gonna come up to Pittsburgh. Stand fast. Going to St. Louis. We already have one, but let's upgrade it. Gonna be the through point for the entire army there. Once Grant gets down the Cairo, he's going to have to do the same thing. Okay. We'll get this in 3.9 days. Pawnee. Ouch. OK. 
Okay. Golf it. The golf has the Senate. The Vermont there. Team Frigate. Home theater has 11 ships. The Atlantic blocking. Eight. Bring new fleet up at. New London, up in Connecticut, I think. Now Baltimore Port, Maryland. With New Orleans. Constitution. Savannah. Marion, Pensacola, the Wabash, maybe the brandy wine as well. New fleet up at Boston, City, Alabama, and the Virginia. Potomac, Brig, Perry, to parry with them. Get the line. Draw river boats, right? Okay, create new fleet. Oh no, I Cairo. Costa in Hancock, Michigan, and a Water Witch. What we will also do is construct a couple more naval artillery, second rate steamer, Faki. Ebenonia. General Grant. We're already given Grant his own ship. A double ender called the Andela. Ender gas going to take care of that. Uh, Forty three. Okay. Also going to do, we're going to get a couple massive ships. Then you get the Columbus, Delaware, Alabama, 
You know, it's seceded. Fort Jackson. Wabash. I'm going to attempt to try to pronounce that. The alert. Lonzo Child. Probably a couple frigates. Brandywine. And the Columbia. Okay. There we go there. They're building a fort somewhere. I don't know where that is. Get a generalized location. Tennessee, Department of the West. Okay, so we don't have a policy that's researching. This now takes from our pool of uh, recruits. Another big issue. Let's get. Industrialization up. Arnie has the supplies. Once Grant gets down in Cairo, we'll start building supplies. Same thing with Buell. Once he gets down here, we'll start building supplies at that railroad junction of Bowling Green. We're building there. Once we get up to Pittsburgh, I think we should also build uh, supplies here. Marietta might also be a good junction as well, but I think going up in Pittsburgh and building a supply depot better with the throughput to go through there. Confederate support soars. Not helpful to the cause by any means, but uh, we'll be able to push forward. McClellan here is in yellow readiness. Uh, they're still opposing us with about 6,000. McDowell has his forces. McClellan has his. I think we're going to push down with uh, McClellan first. On a mountain squadrons up here with two disabled. There's unrest in the U.S. continues. So the game noticeably runs smoother. Pentergast is at destination. Don Carlos Buell is not there yet. So Grant's making his way down to Cairo. Military one is selected here. We're 
BB I kind of put recruitment up. Meads at his destination. Meads up here. Meads gonna hold his position here. Uh, McClellan will slowly get his forces up. Uh, the Confederacy is not recruiting forces, or maybe I'm just not seeing it. I think that's being built here, but I'm not exactly sure. that supply depot in Annapolis you put a throughput there for our forces including ammunition and coal I tried to build them away from each other to see if they would reinforce okay Buell is at destination the Bowling Green at the junction. He's going to hold position. The tribes on the run. Over here in Kansas. I expect the Western Army moves on us rather soon. Arnie is outnumbered. We're going to come in and we are going to build. Under McCall, some mounted men go from Iowa. Andrews. Obviously, we're not going to have Churchill out here. Of Morel. And what's that west? Indiana. Very here we go. They were in. Okay. I do want these to be particularly different. Range two fifty. Of industry one. Kind of weird, did our supply lines get cut? We've not seen anything come from the south to the Mississippi. 
We still think that Missouri State Guard is there. Buell is here. One under Meade is good. Once we get the Supply Depot up, we will advance on, I think, Winchester. Okay, so that is up. Well, let's get 12, uh, 12 months. Okay, so he is here. Okay, so we have a bunch of rifles now. West. New Orleans Squadron's here. Something did happen where Missouri seceded. So that's what happens. So we're recapturing the areas here around Missouri is what is occurring. Okay, the first incursion we will do is with McClellan against the army of the Shenandoah the Winchester. We'll see at this point. I want to upgrade this to get some throughput of supplies through the Shando Valley eventually. I think this is going to be our first battle of the day. McClellan on south. So this fort, wherever that they were building, I do not see it. Supplies. Need that to oh, that actually was not in port. So they'll return to port there. Ravine is back where he should be. Okay. So St. Louis is back in our hands. There's a local area around us. Do have some big weather. We're getting our supplies up. Throughput here at the uh, St. Louis Armory. One thing we have to worry about. Once we get this supply depot up, 
Should be good there for Don Carlos Buell. The Army or the Department of Pennsylvania is taking forever to get down there. So actually, this is going to end this episode here. Thank you all for joining me. This is kind of our setup for this campaign. So you'll see this episode actually today, right after uh, I record this. You'll see this later on today. And then uh, we'll keep on going in the episodes. We do have Fort Sumter that has not been seized yet. And I have not seen any significant movement from Confederate forces. Or considerable buildup from Confederate forces. So, bit of a confusion in this. But, uh, not seeing anything coming at us. It is only May 1861, so our first incursion coming in here. Uh, this army that's at Grafton, I cannot see it. That is important. So, thank you all for joining me, guys. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Later.